show. We are doing a miracle morning yet again. Lauren, what are you doing? I'm making smoothies. Because we need energy. And to be healthy and not have McDonald's breakfast like we did last week. What? What's in this movie? Um, so in that one there's blueberries, blackberries, raspberries and grapes. And in this one, because Sam's weird, there's just going to be green grapes and green apples. That sounds great. It's going to be awesome, I'm looking forward to it. As long as it doesn't turn into mush, which it might, but we'll see. Oh. So we are now going to be going to the Brad Trigger's tour uh, down in Newbury. I think it's going to take us about an hour. Has anyone got a um, knowledge of how long this is going to take us to get there? Uh, last night Google said 50. Okay. We'll see you after food. So we are now on our way to Brad's tour and we're just talking about all the new employees that we're looking at bringing on in the next few weeks. 30th in the next few weeks, to be precise. That'd be nice. Uh, you can't bring loads of people in a week. Nah, in a new year. I thought you wanted new friends. I do want new friends. Let's go, let's go get some food. Huh? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy, what are you most looking forward to about tonight? Don't do that again. Look at that. Lucy, Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Charlotte, what are you most looking forward to about tonight? The truthful answer or, or the vlog answer? The truthful answer. My bed. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we get to meet him. You will. I'm sure you will. I'm not sure we will. 100%. Okay. We have to go find our way now because I have absolutely no idea where we're going. Charlotte? Yeah, ball. Directions? Uh, forward. Forward. Don't hit the cars. So we're gonna go, I'm going to go watch my second Brad tour. These guys are going to go watch their first. See, doesn't the S3 look so nice? It does. You know, yeah, but it's not a cabriolet, cabriolet, Jacob. I burnt my mouth on the cheek. Look at that, look at that, some, look at that some serious branding there, Charlotte. Yeah, I've got all the tickets in here. I've got yeah, I forgot. Week. Yeah, I forgot oh. mine. Guys, tell me what we're just about to do. We are here. Brad Sugar's Billionaire Tour. <laughs> you bit like a bong girl. So yeah, we're going to go see Brad Sugar's Billionaire Tour uh, now. Um, I've actually seen it already. Yeah, Which first time for me First time seeing Brad, actually. Brad so we're, we're going to learn about today some wealth, some some real estate, some business, some buying, selling businesses, as well as seeing a lot of our clients, which should be fun. And you've got all of the things now. Bit of Branding. self-promotion. Branding. Yeah. Like, give us some direction, shall we? Team, team, team. Badness, you don't even know what the half is. You've got to pay to play just for short and then look your way. I like the way you work it, Trump tight all day, every day. You're blowing my mind, maybe in time, baby, I can get you. you, you. Learned a lot. Um, still gonna think about the one in January. It's over my birthday, so it'd be quite a nice 21st birthday present to myself. Yeah. But it's looking like it's that or the Audi, so. Ah, oh, shit, yeah. You know, mm. we just have to see what it's like. I'm sure I can 
One of the things that one of the things that one of the things that Robert Kiyosaki said is what is that you're not allowed to say I can't afford this. Yeah. <laughs> You instead have to say, how can I afford this? No. So I'm going to spend the next two months looking at the different ways I'm going to be able to afford this, and then go. And it's incredible for me to see my progression from that and the ways that I've been able to implement. What you can do is... Uh, what was your key learning, Lucy? To read more and learn more. Read more. Um, so, do you want your password? Your singing is gonna go worldwide, so. I'm doing sales. Yeah, I know, but I thought you just changed it. I did, what did you get? I got that too. I'm adding another 20% onto our sales target for the month. Um, so we've. The target is 10, we were on 4, now on 6. So only 40% left to go. Jacob, how, how much is in the pipeline? Anyway, we're well on track to any these targets. We've got just over a week and a half to go. Um, so yeah, should be smashing it this month instead of last month. So, the boys have gone off for some coaching from Ellis Bardsley Action Coach. And you see, and I have been working on, focus that, the damn fine wine evening. Invitations and landing pits. Well, through. It's a massive faff, actually. The boys made out was easy, <laughs> but it was very flowery. It's grapes. Oh, I need that. Yeah. The font is a little bit. So you're the only one that says you don't like the font. So what have you got so far? <laughs> so I am currently doing a content curation for one of our clients in which we are discussing effective ways to increase employee productivity and the impact that that is going to have on the business. And so when you think about what you've got so far, I mean, you said you're struggling, but with what, what, kind of, what are we struggling with? Sort of content for one of my clients because we hold ourselves to a higher standard than they do. some of this drivel. Um, I think you've got to focus on, you know what I'm going to say, you've got to focus on the... Focus on the whole. Focus on the whole. So what that means is basically when you when you go and buy, if you go into a hardware store or something like that, and you go and buy, say, a drill bit, you're not actually going there to buy the drill bit, you're going to buy the hole. So we've got to focus on the hole in our marketing. You know, we're trying to find, trying to get people to, you know, talk to our client about how they can increase their client's product, their, their employee productivity. So we've got to try and get that across in a way that it comes across in value, and we do that by writing articles. Um, but this certain client wants these articles to be written in a very um, sophisticated manner. So we've got to do it in a very professional. Um, sophisticated manner, <laughs> um, which is a difficult part sometimes when you're dealing with and not... through that, I feel that the Wednesday was great. Josh and I had a second coaching session with Ellis, who is an action coach, as I'm sure you're already aware, which has been going really well, and we're still in the process of setting out our five-year, three-year, and one-year plans. And what we're going to do is when we've got that one-year plan, we're going to split that up into quarterly plans, and then we're going to be able to focus on exactly what we need to get done when to get Avalanche to where we want it to go in the next five years. Exciting times. Anyway. So, we have just hit another sale and this number is going up to seven. So we have... I don't even know how many what days do we have left? More than one. Less than 30. We have... <laughs> A week and a half left, and we're already 70% of the way to our sales goal. So, looking like this month, we're going to need to get the champagne in again. <laughs> Lucy, Lucy gives a wave, said Lucy gives a wave. And a smile. Where have you been, yeah. Lucy? What have you been up to? On our final call. Ooh, with a new client? Yeah, new client. How did it go? Really good. Good. Yeah. Feeling positive? Looking yeah. forward to starting their campaign? Yeah, he's a really nice guy. Well, noisy, but I don't. It's quite noisy from the logos. Like, has the government ruined our chances of success? Have the older generations messed it up for us so that we're never going to be able to ever, ever fix the world again? Have the decisions of the UK and the US over the last few weeks completely sent the world into ruin?
or have our generation just lost their minds? Have we become complacent? Have we become that person that expects things to be just handed to us on a plate? Whether you're an employee, whether you're a business owner, whether you want to become a business owner, whether you want to just get on with it, everyone's got that back in their mind. Quite a lot of people in our generation have got it in their mind that, you know, this is not on me, this is on them. We're too young for this. I can't do this. When in fact, anything you want in life is just a set of compounded decisions away. It frustrates me a lot because we're dealing with many, many people from many, many places in the world, many, many different generations, many different ages. And it's the young people that expect it. We expect it. Something in our minds, probably because of our addiction to instant gratification through technology and all this stuff, has just made us to expect things handed to us. And it has to stop. And if you want to do anything, is it business, is it property, is it, is it people, is it technology, anything, you want to do anything in your life, start compounding your efforts forward. That name on the wall didn't come from just sitting here and owning my way to success, sitting here and expecting someone to walk in the door and give me clients. Did it? No. When I was leaving university, I said to someone, I said to my, one of my mentors, I said, look, I want to start my own business, I want to start investing, um, but I, I feel like I'm too young to have stature in the marketplace. I feel like I'm too young to be able to negotiate, be able to pick the right things to invest in, be able to pick the right businesses to start. He said to me, Josh, you do not have to be old to be right. Blew my head off. You do not have to be old to be right. You also don't have to listen to the above to be right. Who cares what happens with the countries at the moment? Who cares what their decisions are? You have control of your life. You have control of your decisions moving forward. We're minute. We are literally tiny on a scale compared to these countries making these decisions. Collectively, it's not going to affect single people that much unless you become an inter, inter, inter globally traded company and you're dealing with countries and dealing with trade trade um, deals, etc, etc. Chances are at the moment you're going to just start getting forward, you're going to learn to be an investor, you're going to learn to be a business person, you're going to learn to be a great employee. Start moving forward, start compounding your efforts, start learning more and I guarantee you, you will move forward and you'll be successful. Get it out of my mind. Think about the girl all the time. Can't get it out of my mind. Think about the girl every day. Okay. <laughs> How are you doing, Lucy? Good. You've migrated. I have. Not too much. I've had some massive clients. issues this week with my computer. Oh, yeah, it's been a bit of a pain. One day it died. We've lost everything. So it's been a week of trying to get everything back, which hasn't happened yet. Hopefully tomorrow, when I go to Reading, sort it out. Fingers if crossed. not, it'll be a long weekend of catching up. Ooh. We're just doing what we can. We've been working our hardest to get everything back. And hope, fingers crossed, next week we'll be back up to full speed and full capacity. Josh is confused dot com. I like the way you work out. 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 No DVD. I like the way you work out. No DVD. I like the way you work out. No DVD. I like the way you work out. Bye, Josh. Have a great weekend. Bye, Abby. Bye, Abby. Bye. 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 Josh, do you know how to do this? Oh, you know, it feels alright to be dead in the microphone. Teamwork. Matthew, what works? Okay, teamwork. But it's a It's a no. <laughs> Have a lovely weekend. Uh, let me know how you get on with that. Yeah, I put the invites on the end. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <dude>. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were somewhere. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. Bye, Lucy. Have a good weekend, guys. You too. Ciao. Bye. Don't forget the invites. Post them. Go. Okay, we are signing off for the week nine vlog. It's going to be an amazing week next week. It was a great week this week, so we'll see you then. Have a good weekend. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was impressive. The damn fine wine evening.